Hi there, it's Lee here for iMindBlocks. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be switching over my GTX 970 from mining Ethereum to mining Zcash. So I'm going to be sharing that process with you. So one of the main reasons that I'm switching over from Ethereum to Zcash is the actual performance on the GTX 970 has really slowed down recently uh, with each uh, progressive DAG file uh, increase. Uh, the ETH miner uh, is getting slower and slower. So I've looked at the actual stats and it looks like we're going to come out slightly better if we mine some Zcash. So I'll show you that first. Uh, if we actually use the actual mining sites, we can see that from Coin Wars, um, we've got the Equihash, that's what we use for mining Zcash. Uh, I am expecting to get around about 270 hashes per second uh, on about 150 watts, that's an estimate from, from memory really. Uh, for Ethereum, it's 16.5 mega hashes, um, same sort of power usage. So you calculate those profit profitabilities and this is kind of what you end up with. So you can see Zcash uh, revenue per day is $2.05, um, Ethereum, um, call it a dollar eighty. So for every day that we mine uh, Zcash, we're going to be earning an extra twenty five cents uh, in revenue. So over ten days, at two dollars fifty a month, seven dollars fifty, we should be coming out better off mining Zcash versus um, Ethereum. So the miner that we're going to be using is this one. So it's EWBF's Cuda miner. Um, I think I've only used this once before, and quite a long time ago. Um, but I've give it a quick test, and it looks to be. Uh, working well. So I'll put all the actual links that you need in the actual video description and I'll give you a kind of a brief run through of the actual setup um, and we'll get going with this. So let's just close down the browser now. So if I go to my miners folder I've got quite a collection now and hopefully I'll put it somewhere useful. Yeah so we've got this uh, Zcash miner and then the current version is 034B that's the version that I'm using. So you've got um, various files and you've got these batch files. These are what are used to actually start the miner. So what I've done is um, I'm actually already registered at the supernova pool, but use one that's kind of appropriate to you or customize it to match your pool settings. But I'll show you what's inside mine, how I set it up. So we've got the actual call to the miner. Then we've got the pool address. So I'm mining on the supernova pool, the pool. And then for Supernova, you just have your, this is like your account name. And the second part is your actual worker name that you need to set up within the actual Supernova pool. And the last part is just your password, which for most workers, it's not like an account password, it's just a worker password. So we normally just leave that as X. So that's gonna be our starting batch file. So I'll get this uh, miner up and running and uh, you can see the performance of it. I will open up uh, the MSI Afterburner just so you can see the um, kind of the performance as everything is working away. So at the moment, the GTX 970 is just using stock clocks. I um, haven't changed any of the actual configuration. So just left it all uh, as basic settings. So you can see the claw is running at 1342, 1329, that ballpark sort of figure. And the memory clock is running at 3005. So on the actual miner itself, you can see the first hash rate has come in at 279. Um, on the previous test, I was averaging around about 270. Yeah, so again, it's just updated um, 273. So that's kind of the basic stock performance you can expect with a um, GTX 970. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, just very quickly, I'm just gonna try and tweak it a little bit, see if I can get a bit of extra performance um, out of this card. So, Oh, sorry, actually, before I continue, just to let you guys know, the drivers that I am using, I'm using the most recent NVIDIA drivers, which is 384.76. So make a note of those. Are you going to want to use those drivers uh, with this particular miner? Um, what I'll do now is I'm just going to increase the fan speed. I'm just going to put it up to 100. It's really hot um, at the actual, in my home at the moment. It's summertime here, and it is really warm. Um, but moving on, uh, let's see if we can overclock this a little bit and see what we can get out of it in terms of performance. So I've got this set clocks uh, file. Uh, if you look through my previous videos, um, you'll see how it works. So what it kind of does is it 
kind of unlocks the stock clocks of the um, the Nvidia cards. Sometimes if you just try and move the actual um, sliders for overclocking, sometimes you'll find that they don't really um, do anything. So you need to do this first in some cases. So we can close that down now. And you can see the actual memory clock has just jumped up slightly there. So on the Nvidia cards, what you typically get is you get a power limit. So you can see we're running at about 85%. So that's actually basically used to throttle the actual card itself. Um, you can also see that it's still running particularly hot. So I don't really want to push it too much um, at that temperature. But um, just very quickly, I'll give it a bit of an overclocking. Um, let me try this. So we're going to go with um, power limit to 110, core clock increase of 150. Um, I'm pretty sure I used to increase the memory as well, but um, not really used this setting for quite some time. So let's try these settings and we'll just see uh, kind of if we get any improvement by increasing the core clock or whether it's really more memory dependent. So I'll just let that run through for a minute and we'll see how the uh, temperature performs. Weirdly you can see that the actual um, so we just put that fan speed back up to 100 there we really do need it. Okay guys, so I'm just going to leave it there for that, I'll just reset those clocks, uh, just because we're getting really quite a bit too hot, um, I don't really want to be running this uh, GPU at 90 degrees, so I'm just going to close that miner down now. Okay guys, so that's me mining uh, Zcash using my GTX 970 on the home PC, so I just wanted to share this with you, and um, hopefully it's useful to you guys. Uh, as always, uh, if you've got any questions or comments, put those in the comments area below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Till next time guys, take care, see ya.